Summer storms in the southern Cascades bring the blessing of rain. But they can also unleash fire. Lightning's an amazing thing. I've been watching lightning since I was a little kid in the logging camps, and it's just amazing to me. I love this stuff. Violent weather somehow seems appropriate in a land forged by fire from within the earth. The fires are still burning in Lassen Volcanic National Park. Its boiling lakes and simmering springs are reminders of the day a sleeping volcano roared to life. It was June of 1914 and two men were hiking the trail up to Lassen Peak. They were curious because everyone thought this mountain was dead, but recently they'd seen some steam coming out of the top. Well, their hike was interrupted when the earth began to tremble. They turned around and ran back down the trail just as it began raining superheated rocks and debris. The eruption of Lassen Peak was the most significant volcanic event in the history of the continental United States until the eruption of Mount St. Helens. There's a lot of models here that are being looked at and compared with Mount St. Helens on recovery and, and the like. There's been a lot of research go on here that goes back several thousand of years on various eruptions that have occurred and how the recovery with the plant and animal life have occurred. Much of the area surrounding Lassen Peak suffered no impact from the 1915 eruption. That's probably one of the things that's misunderstood a lot about volcanoes is that it's not always accompanied with a lot of death and destruction. It's actually a renewal of uh, the Earth's process. That process can be seen in areas that were devastated by the eruption, but today host new forests thriving in fields of debris. There are other ways to experience the dynamic forces at work here. This is Bumpus Hill which is one of the largest thermal areas in Lassen Volcanic National Park. Be very careful there. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, because a, a lot of these rocks have a tendency to be a little on the slippery side. Bumpus Hell got its name from the man who discovered it. Unfortunately, he made that discovery by plunging through the crust above a boiling spring. This, this is what I mean about stuff not being really stable. Actually, let's try right here. See, put a little bit of pressure on it. <sighs> That's why we don't go that way. <laughs> Bumpus Hell is a laboratory for biologist Ken Stedman of Portland State University. The reason that we're here is we're interested in looking for viruses that live in some of these hot springs. That anything can live in the extreme temperature and acid levels here is a shock to many. But the presence of so-called extreme viruses could lead to the development of new medicines, as well as provide insight into questions that go much further afield. We're interested in you know, just finding out about life in extreme environments on Earth for potentially finding out about you know, life which could be in other environments, on other planets. Viruses that thrive in 230 degree water would seem to pose quite a threat to humans. But for Stedman and crew, infection is no real cause for concern. If we were happen to fall into those hot springs, we might get infected by the virus, but we'd be long since dead. Lassen Peak last erupted in 1921. Today, it is peaceful and silent. It's anyone's guess how long it will stay that way. Its status right now is that it's dormant, but the system that it's associated with is still a viable system. And that system over the years has averaged some type of an eruption or volcanic activity every 65 years. Despite its importance as a case study of the forces that continue to shape the Earth, Lassen is unknown to many and visited by relatively few. Those few wouldn't have it any other way. It offers a, a special experience to visitors that come here. For those who know this park, it's as if they've discovered a secret world where the formation of Earth remains unfinished. It's a discovery they have mostly to themselves in a place where creation is still underway.